have those extra larvae, it's really, really difficult to keep up, not only with your resources and your resource gathering, but also with your army, because three larvae at a hatchery, if you've only got one hatchery, is just not enough. Um, and I do put down another hatchery up here so that I can continue to increase my production and my economy. Now you'll notice here that uh, Purple starts moving out. They've got a lot of units. Um, Teal, not so much. He made the mistake of early expanding when he got rocked with that Reaper rush, so he's still getting back on his feet with his economy. Um, I managed to move uh, my link back that we did the harassment earlier. Unfortunately, I do lose a couple of overlords in the process. Um, and I initially think that they're coming after me, but they start moving up towards Blue's base. Um, and I lose a lot of these circlings uh, because I wasn't ready for that. And then, of course, I run through the Terran player here and uh, like an idiot. I managed to save four of them, though, so not a complete loss. Um, and in the meantime here now, I've got eight Mutalisks built now. I've got... Um, six of the uh, roaches here and then uh, a good number I, I think that's uh, 18 links. but um, purple's moving up in, into uh, blue's base right now along with the help of teal the teal doesn't have very much um, and basically I have to come over here and help protect my teammate um, and let me tell you these mutalisks were a lifesaver because teal didn't have very many marines and there are only five stalkers here and two sentries which are the only units in this Protoss army that can actually attack air. So, um, between the Lings and the Roaches handling the ground, um, the Mutalists really were able to deal a lot of damage to this ground army, since, you know, these Stalkers couldn't focus on the Mutas because they had to worry about the Lings, because Lings will run through Stalkers so quickly if you're not paying attention to them. So anyways, we clean this up. Um, Teal tries to bring a little bit more, and I don't know what I was doing with my queen out there. I must have accidentally selected her when I moved my army out. Um, but basically, yeah, the, at, the, at this point, the game is more or less over. If you look at our overall unit combination and our economy versus, you know, Purple's still just getting back on his feet with his probe count because, you know, our harassment was so effective earlier. Teal's finally starting to get back up there again, but, you know, he... He's gotten a lot of miners back, but he hasn't flipped into full macro mode yet, so he doesn't have a lot of units as of yet. And we immediately basically just go for this counterattack. The Mutalisks in the front line here end up taking out the initial uh, the initial set of Marines in this um, medevac here. Um, and then the uh, Marauders here, which are actually really good against most ground, get taken out before our, arm, our ground army even gets up there, really. So at this point, we just basically walk through his expansion and then walk through his main. Um, and by the time, you know, the Protoss player is at a point where he can do anything to help his teammate out, the game's already over anyways, which, you know, unfortunate for them. He starts moving out right now, and this expansion's gone before he even gets there. Um, anyways, moving back to, to my base, just kind of show you, even though the game is pretty much over here, I have expanded, getting the drone count going up at the secondary one. I've got a few more Mutalists building, although I'm not using them right now, just because, you know, at this point I've kind of flipped into lazy mode because I know we've already won the game and it's just a matter of mopping things up at this point. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's the overall build. Just to kind of go over it again, um, basically what I do is you go 10 out of 10 on your drones initially. Then you save up so you get 200 minerals. Um, and then what you do is drop the spawning pool when you've got 200. Right after that, build another drone. And then as soon as you have enough money, which is usually right around when that 10th drone hatches after building the spawning pool, uh, build an overlord. Um, and then while that overlord's building, what you're going to want to do is throw down your first extractor, and then as soon as that's done, drop three drones into that. Um, once your overlord hatches, you're going to want to continue building drones until you get up to the 18 of 18 um, su supply limit, which is what that second overlord will give you. Um, but then also make sure as soon as your spawning pool finishes, you have this queen so that you can start spamming the uh, spawn larva ability so that you can make sure you can keep up with production. Once the uh, spawning pool finishes also, as soon as you have 100 minerals and 100 gas, make sure you start that speed upgrade because that is crucial. One of the reasons that our rope-a-dope technique with the harassment on Purple's base was able to work so well um, is because once the Reapers got in here and drew his army's attention, my Lings ran up in here and started attacking his probe so fast that he couldn't respond to it in time. Um, and that speed upgrade is really what made that happen. If I didn't have the speed upgrade, I probably wouldn't have been able to get up in there quick enough to actually do the damage that I needed to do. Um, but anyways, once you have the speedling upgrade, um, you're going to make sure you build... Once you have the speedling upgrade going, you don't have to wait for it to finish. You're going to build another overlord, and then that's going to put you at 26 supply as your max. What you're going to do at that point is get a eight, 8 supply worth of lings, which is 16 lings, um, 
And then once you have those, you're going to start moving out on the map to look for potential harassment opportunities. While you're doing that is when you start upgrading your layer and going for your hydralist tech or your mutalist tech or whatever it is that you would happen to be going for. Um, you know, you can really kind of make take that strategy and make it your own from that point basically all this opening is designed to do is to give you a little bit of an edge in the early game so that you can have more options too in the later game because if you're ahead in your economy and in your army then you have a little bit more flexibility to do whatever you want whereas if you stay on the defensive and you're not sure what they're going or where your enemies are at or anything like that you basically have to react to whatever they're doing rather than having the opportunity to push the action yourself um, anyways, thank you again for watching. Um, everybody that's out of me to subscribe, thank you. Uh, please tell your friends, point everybody to this um, channel as much as possible. I will try to get as many videos out as I possibly can. And of course, if you want to see any specific strategies or anything demonstrated or any particular videos at all of any type, feel free to let me know. Um, post it in the comments here or go to starfeeder.com and post it in any of the blogs that I put up there. I also put tutorials and details for the build orders up there as well. Um, and then, of course... I, I mentioned this in one of my blogs as well. I feel bad asking this, but um, right now I'm using uh, one of my friend's accounts, Averick. Averick is a fantastic guy, and he has been busy with school right now. So he's letting me use his um, beta account so that I can do these videos for you guys and so that somebody's using his account, and he's just not letting it go to waste at this point. Um, unfortunately for me, he is going to be done with uh, all the busy stuff for him in school within the next week or two, which means the access that I have to beta will be much more limited, and I would love to bring you guys more of this content but if I don't have beta access, I can't. So if anybody knows of anyone that's willing to share an account with me or has an extra beta key that they can throw my way, I would very much appreciate it, and I'm sure that everyone that's subscribed and watched these videos so far would as well. Um, anyways, happy gaming, and uh, hopefully we'll see you all on the new Battle.net 2.0 servers in not too long. GG.